Hello everyone, this is Des Essien and welcome to my channel. I am all about making videos that help you build your faith, help you thrive in motherhood, and help you master homeschool. And today is a homeschool video. I'm in my office, I'm on the floor, and I just want to talk to y'all about some of these curriculums. Masterbooks. It, yeah, I gotta, sorry. <laughs> we got to talk about it. So stay tuned. Okay. So here's the thing. I wanted to love master books so much because I heard so many people talking in, about master books. So I am homeschooling. Um, I was current. Well, I'm, I was, I purchased master books for my kindergartner going to first grade and for my fifth, sixth grade. Um, daughter and so well, let me try my try these out on those two right and what I purchased was the master books math and this is the level two and I purchased the master books language lessons for living education level one and then I tried writing strands which was writing strands beginning um two okay so of course this i think the company is awesome i just want you guys to know my experience which does not mean that you will have the same experience but i think that it's valuable to get every, you know different people's opinion and it's totally you know based on what's going on in my home school so keep that in mind right in, in the level my kids are at. So we took a moment and we've unschooled and, you know, we really are a very um, eclectic family when it comes to homeschool. And so I don't necessarily, I'm not a huge curriculum person because I just honestly haven't found a curriculum that I feel like meets all the needs. And the purpose of me homeschooling was to make sure that A, my kids were thriving, but one of my main reasons was I like for my kids to be challenged, but not necessarily in ways where they have like worksheets and book work all day. It just does not work for me. So I wanted to try master books because I needed a really great language arts curriculum and math um, for my little one. My oldest one does a different um, math curriculum. So let's start with the math. So my daughter for kindergarten, she did great. Um, and, you know, really she's probably at like a second grade level um, in some of the concepts in math. So what I like about Masterbooks, Masterbooks does a great job um, in scoping out the correct curriculum. So this is a 36 lesson, 36 week lesson curriculum. And it goes through pretty much all the regular things that you would think you need for um, this like first grade <sighs> curriculum. So when I purchased it, I did what a lot of people do. You know, I go through the scope and sequence. I look to see what subjects are there and I mean, it's pretty easy and laid out. They give you exercise number, and then they say this is um, day four, day five. Like, it's very much laid out. and But it's in a way where also you don't have to necessarily do it um, in the order they're telling you also. They give you manipulatives, ideas. They give you um, a little thing on how you can do, grade the assignments. And this is based on like a five- day well they have a first semester if you did it just one semester then if you did it all year long so you can do five days you can do you know three days and they lay out like the whole schedule they lay it out so they did a great job with that because a lot of curriculums you know sometimes they don't do that i think what did not work for us was it didn't really hit it's very gentle 
Um, and so here's the thing, if you wanted a gentle curriculum and you wanted like something that didn't necessarily go into certain concepts deeply, then this might work for you. But it's very gentle. And for me, in my kid, for my kids and knowing how they learn in their personality, right? Like if they're learning something and they have an interest in it, it's one thing. But if they're learning something and you know which concept they really need to get down. And some concepts you might want a little bit more detail in diving into than other concepts. Then um, I felt like I, I had to supplement. I see also like they, the way that they do it, they also involve like different things. So this might be something that you like. I, just, I didn't necessarily like it, but they include like copy work. They include, um, you know, of course, manipulative play. And then they include like, you know, the arithmetic, like the actual problems. Where about like, it's very dynamic, right? But when it comes to like the concepts, right? Like concepts, like math concept, like actual things, I'm not looking for like a workbook where she's just doing problems all day, right? But I'm also not looking to, this isn't my read aloud time. This is my math time. And so I felt like there was, it was great to have these different type of lessons, but I want to know also that before you move to another concept that we covered it enough. And I just don't feel like some of the concepts that I was looking for them to really cover, I don't feel like they covered it enough. I felt like it was very much we hit it and then we go. That's how I got it. Um, but again, this is just my opinion. And it's, you know, I'm entitled to my opinion. Just like if you get it, you might love it. So don't listen to me. I'm just giving you my take. Um, what I do, how I use it now, because I don't believe in wasting my money, but I'm not going to force it. So there might be a concept in here. And so maybe we're talking about like money, right? So I'll use like the, a page because they only give you like a page of work, but I'll use a page and then we'll reinforce it with, you know, manipulatives, other things that they might not have suggested or another book or practice. And instead of it being one day, I might just spread it out over a couple of days just to make sure that they, she actually got the concept and where they might skip to, they might be doing money and then they might go to time the next day. I'll go to money and then we'll stay there and we'll make sure like we understand the concept before we move to the next thing. So this is more like a guide. Okay, so that's the math. <sighs> language living lessons for living education. This is their language art um, book. And again, it's laid out the same way. It comes with three books that you get. Um, they're like different, um, they're required for the course. It says that it takes about 20 to 30 minutes a lesson. And that's true. It's a collection of things. So you have like stories, poems, poems, scripture, which I forgot to say, that's what I do love about master books. Like it is, they have the scripture in there. I love that part, but it's, it's you have the scripture, independent reading, um, narration, you have phonics, spelling, handwriting so in that sense it's it's a nice book um it's really good and again the way they lay it out um they give you flexibility to do it um their lessons aren't very long that's a benefit right this is like one day work a work that's another day work the work like they one page two to three pages max and the only time it really goes into like two three pages is if they're doing like handwriting but it's is very short lessons which at this age is is good but there's like a fine line like okay very short lessons but are they getting enough it's very gentle it's, it's very gentle they say on the back, and I'm reading from the back, they say 
their pattern is, you know, you do the study, you do Bible verses day one, then two and three, you do phonic reviews, new words, letter combinations, writing practice. Day four, you do grammar concepts, and day five, you do word lists, and then you just start it all over. So I, I, I do like the scheduling of it. I do like that because it gives me, it allows me to see what's coming ahead. And I think they did a good job with that. I actually like this better than the math, but I still feel like I was, was missing some stuff. It just didn't hit everything. So, and that's okay. So here's the thing. It's a smidgen, a step above a workbook. I've talked about um, Bob Evans, you know, the Bob Evans workbooks and all these. It's a step above. And if you're not careful, those workbooks that you probably bought might might serve you well more than this. For me, um, it, it just did not work. The engagement also. So my daughter likes to learn and she's, um, has, um, she likes to have fun like all kids, but you know, this lost her a little bit. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> language art. You know, it was, yeah. Also, some of the teacher-led things that they tell you to read, I didn't think was that exciting. They do send you to the supplemental books and that's great, but still wasn't that interesting. I didn't, the stories weren't even really, she didn't really enjoy the stories that much. Um, so that's that, a lesson. Writing strands. Writing strands is, this one, it was supposed to be, it's like a one year course. And it says that it helps you follow careful written directions, control sentence structuring, create character thoughts, organize information, construct a story, create characters. So I got this because I wanted my daughter to really master writing. Um, and I wanted her to just dive into that. And I think the, the way they laid this book out is really interesting. This is gentle as well. It says it's gonna take about 30 to 45 minutes per lesson, five days a week. Um, they do have worksheets and it's designed for grades five to eight in a one year course. Okay, so no, great for grades five to eight, that should have been something that I paid attention to. Because I know that you learn different things and different concepts between grades five and eight. Just, just totally different. But I digress. I went on and I got it. So here's the thing. I like the layout. I like what they attempted to do. So the genres of writing that, that you get into, fiction and nonfiction, you get into all genres. I mean, from like autobiography, autobiographies to like writing fantasy things right like it they hit on the the main things right i don't know if it was the sequencing and how they lay it out it just was kind of weird to us a bit this doesn't give so much flexibility um because it's very much like five days a week and like if you miss it it's kind of hard to pick back up and I say, say you do language arts, maybe you homeschool four days a week and this is a five day a week or actually five day a week, right? Like that last day you have to double up and you got to make it work. It's weird. It, like some of the things that you do is weird and it's hard to like get it all done. They have this thing called like progress reports. That didn't really work well for us. Having the kids like kind of like assess their work, their own work and you assess them. I do like, again, I do like the um, way that it points you back to the Bible and it, it, it kind of like infuses Bible study in a lot of the lessons. And that's really great. Um, that part I love. And it has, it has it, like through Bible stories, like parables, it will create a lesson around that. So that's really good because in order to do the lesson, you got to read the Bible story. So that's good. But I think it was just a bit slow. And I don't think they, I, I don't think for my daughter, she did not find the joy and excitement in this. 
And part of the reason why I'm homeschooling is to make sure that there's excitement and joy in learning. Like if I was gonna just give her something boring and just blah, right? Just so I can check off that she knows the concept, then I would have left her in public school. The whole point was like, I wanted her to, to um, be excited and to learn and be, you know, have joy when it comes to learning. Cause this is gonna stay, we're always learning. But it, it, I found it to be a bit, I mean, if it was born for me, I felt bad like giving it to her. And it got to a point where we just stopped because it just didn't serve us well. And the concepts, they, they touched on it, but it's more of like repetition, like do this, do that, do this, do that. And you do that, you know, you do this on Tuesday, you do this on Wednesday. It wasn't dynamic. There wasn't like, you know, works for if this is what you need. This is not what we need. And um, we're looking for an experience. We're looking for, and I found myself, I, I mean, it got to a point where I actually just didn't even use it. I had to go to another source and create my own. I used it maybe as a guy, like, okay, let's talk about narrative writing today, right? And then, you know, some of the scriptures that they use, we might use that in our own lessons that we create. But, you know, if I bought a curriculum or, you know, I, I purchased these, right? Then for me, I'm looking for a little bit more um, help in getting a cohesive lesson together. Like, I'm not saying lesson, like I'm teaching this and then it's like, you know, school at home, um, public school at home. But, you know, just a little bit more so that I have the opportunity as a mom to pick and choose like, okay, we like this, we need that, we don't need that. Like I found in these approaches, I didn't have enough to even pick from. It was like, this this the one page you get, boo, and, and, and scene. Go to the next thing. And I'm like, oh, that's all I'm gonna talk about when it comes to conjugating verbs? Okay. Like it, it, it just didn't serve us well. So um, takeaways, I love, how they organized it is great. If you're looking for a gentle curriculum, I feel like this is a great curriculum for you. Like if you just kind of just be unschooling and you kind of don't want to do, you know, this is great. Look at this because you're not going you're not going to spend a long time on this. If you're looking for an unschooling experience or an experience where you're teaching and that you want them to learn and have joy, but not be tied to a book, but get what they need. I don't know if you get what you need. But again, this is just my opinion. You look at what works for you, but master books did not work for us, unfortunately. I love some of the things about it and um, definitely use it as a resource as I supplement, but um, just didn't work for me. So I hope this um, gave some insight to you. Let me know how it worked for you. Who knows, maybe I'll revisit it in a little bit um, or maybe we'll come back to it. But let me know what you think. Leave a like, a comment, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.